watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire TV. Impacting the world for Christ. I greet you, the children of the living God. I am Juliana Olufunke, a servant in the vineyard of God. And I'm coming to you again to encourage you, to strengthen you, knowing that we, as we wait for the Lord Jesus Christ, we should be doing what is right and needful. As the children of God, let us thank the Lord for today. Let us pray, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We give you honor and adoration as we have come before you today and as I have come before the, your people. Holy Spirit, be that enthroned. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, take preeminence. Even as we will pray and as the people will listen to your word, Holy Spirit, give them the attentive ear that they will be able to hear your word, to be the doer of the word, that as you come, every one of us, we shall be met in our position doing what is right. We appreciate you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. As the children of God, let's quickly look into the word of God for today. And the word of God for today is coming for, to us from the book of Matthew 7, 15 to 8. The word of God today is coming to us from the book of Matthew 7, 15 to, to 23. Yes. Beware of false prophets which come in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruit. Do men gather grapes of tongues, or figs of teasers? Even so, every good tree bring, bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not good fruit is aved down and cast into the fire. We are for, by their fruit ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of God. But he that does it, the will of my Father which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out demons. And in thee, in thy name, done many wonder, wonderful works. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that walk in iniquities. The word of God today, as is coming, we are talking about builders. But before we go on to that, I want us to quickly look into 1 Corinthians 3. 11 to 14. There, in the first Corinthians, the, 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 the 3, 11, is saying, there is no foundation that any can lay. For, all, for other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus. Now, if any man build upon this foundation gold, silver, Precious stone, wood, hail, stubble. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, and it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. We are talking here about the builders. As the children of God, I will ask today, the type of tree that we are, is very important if you must make the kingdom of God. 
That is the type of tree, if it's an evil tree, there is no how an evil tree can bring forth good fruit. And if it is a good tree, definitely it will bring forth good fruit. But there is a God that can make the evil tree to bring forth good fruit if we surrender unto him. As the children of God, we should know that the fruit that we bring forth is so important in the kingdom of God. And upon the fruit you bring forth, as the children of God, is the building you are going to build on the foundation of Christ. An evil person cannot build anything good. Because as builder, we are to build on the foundation Christ has laid down for us. And the word of God makes us to understand in the Corinthians, we have read just now, that everyone's work differs. Some is of gold, some is of stable, of ale, some is of silver, they are of divers. And in this, our work shall be examined as the children of God. What are you building as the child of God on the foundation Christ has laid down for me and you? Is it, is it a building that when it is tested by fire, it will stand? Or is it a building that will behave down into fire? We must know by the fruit we have in us, so is the building we are going to build upon Christ, uh, upon the foundation of Christ. And the law say it shall be revealed. That is, it cannot be hidden. It cannot be hidden. It shall be seen. It shall be revealed. And we are, when we talk of builders, we are constructing. We are constructing like an engineer, constructing something on a foundation. As the children of God, if we must be rewarded, every construction we are building on Christ must be of good. It must be of positive things. It must be of the nature of Christ, revealing nature of Christ in us as we are building it because some people are looking. They are looking at us. By this building and what we are doing, our Father will be glorified. By this building we are building, we will draw men and sons unto the kingdom of God. What are you building? Some of us, by our words, we have offended the Holy Spirit. And the word of God has tell us there is no, nothing evil which we, we speak against son of man that may not be forgiven. But anything spoken against the spirit of God has no forgiveness. Many of us as the children of God, we are building the wrong thing. The fruit in us is making us not to bring constructive things that we glorify God upon the foundation of Christ. There was a time I went out to send off one of our father in the Lord. People were talking. They were saying this. He has done this, that. I said, I have something to say. So somebody sitting by my side said, you don't even know this, man. What do you want to say? I said, let me go and say something. Then when I got out, I said, praise the Lord. This servant of the Lord is a father indeed. I did not know him. I don't know him. I didn't come near to him to rapport with him. But from far, I am seeing him. From far, I look at his, his, his ways, his deeds, his words. I watch him from far. And everything is exhibiting Christ. Even in his ways, in his character, his teaching, even though he's not on the altar. His ways, his character, his words are teaching. 
His deeds are teaching, even though he is not on the altar. That is, he's building a, something good on the foundation Christ has given. Anything we are going to build on the foundation Christ has given must declare in us the nature of Christ. Because we have two builders. The evil ones are building their own too. Devil is building his own too. And if the evil people are glorifying their father in evil deeds, won't you glorify your father in righteous deed? We say we are the children of God. We, we exhibit evil things. Our words are not words to encourage somebody who has not known Christ to comfort. We even speak against the Holy Spirit. We talk of servants. We talk of men. We thought this is not worthy. Who is worthy? You that you are talking, you yourself is not worthy. No one is worthy. But by grace and mercy of God have we been counted worthy in the presence of the living God. So your fruit and your speech, your fruit will be seen by your speech. Your fruit will be seen by your ways, by your scheming, and everything you are doing. Your fruit will be seen. And when your fruit are seen, it will attract more sons to your father. That is, it will glorify your God. No one will say, who is this? We can't even serve his God. See what he has been doing. We must not bring shame unto ourselves. The evil ones are full of pride. We, as the children of God, we must have the humble spirit of Christ to be who Christ and our God is. And while what we are building upon the building upon the upon the foundation of Christ must be those things that are constructive that will not destroy, those things that can impart wisdom, knowledge, good things to those who have seen us. We should not be full of ourselves. Christ was not self, uh, selfish in any, in any way. Ourself, we must also not think of ourselves. Think of Christ when you are acting against your, your brethren. Think of Christ when you are speaking against your brethren. Think of Christ when you are, you are doing one thing or the other. These are the building. These are the fruits we are talking about. It's by your, by your, by this we will know who you are. Trees that will not bring good products into the kingdom of God is saved down into the fire, and they will burn even in the last day. You are like that. You are like you are that. You are you represent that tree. I represent a tree too. Many of us we have become strange vine. We are not the vine Christ has made us to be, which has been built up in holiness. You are ready to bring, out, bring down someone. What you are building on this foundation, which is the Christ foundation, must encourage somebody to serve God. It must encourage somebody to say, I need to know your father. It must encourage somebody to come nearer to you, to partake on your table. And you are able to give him more of Christ. But when you get so much carried away with yourself, you cannot do this work. Let's be selflessly walking in the, in the vineyard of God. It's not about me, about the kingdom of God. For Christ is coming back very soon. It's not about me, it's not about you. It's not about what we want to give to, 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 to elevate yourself or feel some pride. It is all glory. It's about all glory to God and the work he has done for us. Children of God, let us learn to come together. This has bring us apart. I told you we have, I have seen battles array and the, kingdom, and the children of God are fleeing before the enemies. How are we not going to flee before the enemies? We ourselves, we are standing 
on a right foundation and we are building upon it filthiness. How will you be able to take strength and power? A righteous God drop weapons down for us. How can you possess the weapon of a righteous God when your hands are full of filthiness? When your ways are full of filthiness? Even when you call upon the name of God, it will not answer to you. Because you have, you have used this mouth to abuse, to cause, to speak evil. You have used your hand on evil thing. You can't even call upon this name to be power to you to prevail. Power to you to over overcome. Because everything you are building upon this foundation is of filthiness. And by it the Lord say, we shall be judged. As the children of God, let us know that Christ is coming back very soon. There is the word of God I want to share again with you in Isaiah 62, 11. He said, Behold, God has proclaimed unto the end of the world. Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, thy salvation cometh. Behold, his reward is with him. And his work before him. And they shall call them the holy people. The redeem of the Lord. And thou shall be called sought out a city not for, forsaken. You are to call. Be called the holy people. By the building you are building, let it be transparently seen. Let people see you transparently that you are on the Lord's side. And in so doing, people will call you the holy people, the people that have been redeemed. You have been redeemed, we still walk in filthiness, we can't fight battles. We will always lose before the enemies. And thou shalt be called, called a sought out. Because when you, you are in the nature of Christ, people will want to take from you good virtues and that is what Christ is he releases good virtues onto people it heals them it beautifies them it brings happiness on people so shall we also redeem the virtues of Christ it must come forth from us to heal to perfect people to make people be reckoning with you and your God May the Lord help us with the word of God we have heard. And as the children of God, in Matthew 18, 12, the Lord said, He said, Behold, how think you if a man has a hundred sheep? How think you if a man has an hundred sheep, that is, the Lord God, if a man has an hundred sheep and one of them be astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine and go, go out into the mountain and seek that which is astray? God is so particular about these people who have not known God. Those who have strayed away. What you are building upon this foundation of Christ, we bring them back. What me and you are building, we bring them back. Let your words be encouraging. Let it be positive. Let it bring peace. Let it bring joy. Let your heart, your ways, your deeds always be of good things to others. And God will actually be, be able to reward us as his own people. Let us quickly look into the, into the prayer point for today. Oh Lord, I want you to say, let the nature of Christ come upon me in all that I say. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. For by the blood of Jesus Christ, we stand in power to be able to do all things. Oh Lord, 
I want you to say, I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon my spirit, soul, and body. Yeka mashantarika, yeke mahisentarika, maraka shikentarika, mai aasenta, rika maraka shikentarika, mayeke. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus flow into my spirit, into my soul, into my conscience, into every part of me that as I decree in prayer, nothing shall be able to hinder me in my prayer. Oh, that I will receive an open heaven in prayer today. Rika mashantarika, mayeke. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want you to say, Lord, let the nature of Christ come upon me in all that I do. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray that prayer. Oh Lord, let the nature of Christ come upon me in all that I do. In all that I say. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh, that like, like you, the balm of Gilad, my word will be balm unto those that are hurting. We come as shanta, that my word will be an encouragement to those who need to be strengthened. We come as shanta, Kayeke. Oh Lord, let the nature of Christ come upon me in all that I do and I say, in the name of Jesus. Another one, I want to say, let my walk upon Christ's foundation be of gold. Oh Lord, Father, that we bring reward at the end of the age, in the name of Jesus. Oh Marashi Kenta, because every word shall be tested. Every word shall be tested with fire. It shall be tried with fire. We come as Santa Kayeke. Oh Lord, let the my I walk, oh Lord, Father, which I am putting upon the foundation Christ has built, be of gold, oh Lord, Father. Oh yes, in the name of Jesus, that at the end of the age, oh Lord, even when it is tried, I will receive the reward before you, my God and my maker, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Shantarika, Yeke, another one, every seed of evil that has been, that might have been planted into my heart, oh, or within me, oh, that will not make me to be able to have to release every good virtues of Christ in me. Today be consumed by fire. Be destroyed by the Holy Ghost fire. Be roasted in the name of Jesus. Another prayer. Say, oh Lord, let every spirit of goats. Oh yes, I know, I want you to know that there will be goats on that day. The goats are not, dis that are not builders. They scatter. They destroy. Goats will always destroy. But the sheep are all, always attentive. They fall Follow oh, dogmatically the instruction given and they walk in humbleness, in meekness. But the goat is not like that. I want you to say, Let every spirit of goat, oh, and of destruction walk in, oh Lord. Ah, that might be walking to destroy the, the, the good work I might I want to release upon the foundation Christ has built. Oh Lord, today let that spirit of God be released into eternal bondage within my life. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh, be released into eternal bondage. Oh, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. Another prayer. I want to say, blood of the everlasting covenant of Christ. Help my joining on earth. Oh, yes, in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, that in, in I will be able to have the eternal glory in the in the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, blood of the everlasting covenant of Christ. Help my journey on earth, oh Lord. Oh, Father that I will be able to receive the eternal joy, the eternal glory. Oh yes, in the kingdom, in the name of Jesus. Another word, Akama Shantari Kayeke. I want you to say, oh ye robbers of my soul and of my joy, the power of of, of, and the power, the power of your dominion over me to destroy me ah, is destroyed today by the blood of Jesus. Oh, ye robbers of my soul. Devil wants to rob that soul. He wants you to walk what is wrong. He wants you to walk what is evil. He wants to rob that soul. Take it away. I want you to say, oh, ye robbers of my soul and of my joy. Ah, the power of your dominion over me is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. The power of your dominion over me is destroyed in the name of Jesus. Another one say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will I will shine as light and redeem the glory of Christ all the days of my life.
Kai, Rikama Shanta Rikayeke, Amasentereke, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will shine as light and reject the glory of God. Oh, yes, all the days of my life, even as I stand, as I stand waiting for Him, in the name of Jesus, say in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, another one, every or no evil unto sudden death, I annul you over my life by the blood of Jesus Christ. You must not start, you must not be among those who fall and die. Let your building be beautiful upon the foundation of Christ. And God will secure your life. He will secure your destiny. You will not waste. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, Father, every every power of unknown evil that may make me to, to fall down into sudden death. I annoy you over my life and my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we thank you. Lord Jesus, Jesus, we magnify your name. Be that exalted, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have not received Christ as your Lord and Savior, Jesus is calling you today. Jesus so much loves you. That is, the parable the Lord spoke is of you that has not known Christ. When he said, the man, the shepherd, he led the 99 to seek one that has strayed. Jesus so much love you to live a 99 to seek you that is stray, that has strayed. Where are you today? Christ is crying. As he has cried to die, Adam and Eve in the garden of Eden when they has fallen. He said, where are you? He knew they have fallen. And Adam was making an excuse. The woman you gave me did this for me. Let your home not be of excuse before the living God today. Come on, bully before him. And submit, submit yourself unto him. And the Lord will be able to shield you. To call his, to put his mark upon you. And call him and call you his own. And you will be among those who he will redeem and, and be able to to rapture when it comes. Bow your head if you have not received Christ, for he loves you. He left 99 to seek you. Bow your heads and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, say this after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I confess my sin before you to sin no more. Accept me as, my, as, 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 as your own. And I declare you today as my Lord and Savior. And by your mercy today, let my name be written in the book of life. And at the end, Father, let me be counted worthy in thy kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus is coming back very soon. Let us be prepared for our Lord in, in doing good works. Hebrews 6.10 He always cares for us. Every labor of word or every labor of love, every labor of love we have offered in the vineyard of Christ, he understand, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which you have shown towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister. You are ministering when you build upon the foundation Christ has laid good and honorable things to glorify your Father. May the Lord strengthen you. As you wait for the Lord. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. He went away and, and promised that he's coming back again. He's coming back again. My Lord is coming back again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's coming back again. When the road is called up yonder. When the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, when the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. Jesus love you. Stay on the side of Christ. It is the winning side. And you will never fail, nor fall, or be destroyed at this season as the evil days are arriving and are coming. May the Lord preserve you and me. In Jesus' name, amen. You are now one.
watching Amazing Fire TV. Amazing Fire 